I'm glad that his word will reveal the importance from, the, from what is important from what is unimportant. So many today will make, will make a stand on what is unimportant. They'll, they'll go on and they'll, they'll argue to the point of ridiculousness of things that are just not important to divide over. There are some things that are just not worth dividing over. And some people make it a bone of contention to argue over those things. I am glad that we don't have to worry about those. I am important. I'm, I'm glad that his word reveals um, the wonderful truth of God, who God is, what he is, and what he cannot do, what he has done, and what he'll continue to do. God tells us all about the things of God. We don't have to wonder what God... God's not my whim. God's not my interpretation. God is not relevant to my thoughts. You know, it's not God, it's God's being is not relevant to my thoughts as far as I don't make God what I want him to be. I don't chisel off a piece of God over here and apply it to this over here. No, God is who he is, and I'm supposed to measure up what he wants me to be. I'm glad that, I'm glad that his word reveals to me my sin. Have you ever done everything, you know... Have you ever done any something in something in complete ignorance and you didn't know about it? I remember when I was a kid, we uh, we went to this youth conference in uh, in uh, New York, and the, they had a Bible trivia contest, like a Bible trivia. Remember back in the day, they had the the geography bowls. Does anyone besides me remember those things? Annoying as all get out. That's pretty bad. The only person to raise their hand is like a little bit older than I am. But I was like, <laughs> um. Uh, spelling bees. Well, we had a Bible bee. All, all these, all these churches got together for this Bible trivia contest, and I was like eleven and a half years old. I wasn't even twelve yet. I wasn't even supposed to be in the in the in the team department, but because my dad was a chaperone, I got to go, and I entered into the contest, and I smoked everybody in my church. I mean, I whooped everybody in Bible trivia, and there was about forty kids. One of you know. Couple more missionaries. I might just like obliterated them, man. I just let them have it. Let, lowered the gun and blasted it out. I was like, so I was like, man, I'm, I'm it, man. I am it. That was me and this other and this, and this pastor's daughter, 17 years old. It was just me and her in the finals. Because the other guy in my church, I black, I was like triple his score. He, had, he was like insignificant. But he, he just stood there. He just stood there making, you know, looking, making faces at the girls. We just, we, we. It was crazy. I was whooping the seventeen year old you know, the seventeen year old pastor's daughter. I was I was going at it, man. I was going eleven and a half years old. You understand, eleven and a half years old beating a seventeen year old in Bible trivia, we're talking about some major breakthrough here. We're talking about the upset of the century. I'm just letting you know this is gonna work out. It's gonna be good. The question was asked, it was a it was a daily double. You know, you, you get the wager, and I wagered a big chunk of my of how much I had. I we I I, I bet a bunch of my stuff off. And then my points off, and he said, okay, here's the question. What did Noah make the ark out of? Now, I listen, I have paid attention to junior church. <laughs> the Lord told Noah to build him an arky, arky. Lord told Noah to build him an arky, arky. Build it out of go for barky, barky. That was my answer. I knew it was so confident. <laughs> Ring in, go for barky, barky. <laughs> Everybody laughed. My self-esteem went out the window. Everybody laughed at me. I was so nervous. I was so embarrassed. I was so ashamed of myself. I lost my edge. I lost to a girl. I came in second place, and I lost to a girl. The answer is not... Jeff? Did you walk by? Okay. The answer, the answer, was, not, the answer was not go for Barky. The answer is shit him with it. But I answered, go for Barky Barky. This is why you don't get your theology from songs. <laughs> and I was so embarrassed by it. And I, I just lost my edge. I, was so, I thought I had it so right. But I'm glad the Bible tells us when I do something in complete ignorance. I went that day and I searched my Bible front and back to find out what it was. And the answer was, shit em wood. And I was so embarrassed. And then later on I found out it's also known as gopher wood. I was right the whole time, but I couldn't defend myself. I was 11 and a half, and I was so scared, but I'm glad the Bible, can, we can go back to the Bible, and we think we're right, when we think we're right, we can still find out, hey, the Bible is always true, and it's always there. Aren't you glad for that? Ever, have you ever been right sometimes, and you didn't know you're right, but then you found out you're wrong, and then you found out you're really right? Anybody like that before? Husbands, we understand that means. <laughs> Verse, 